By age 60, the U.S. government is commissioning him to design secret weapons for World War II. According to Black Past and Wikipedia, Ruth had zero formal education, learned blacksmithing from his father. But that curious mind? Unstoppable. 1924. Patents the combination baler feeder. Sells 5,000 machines nationwide. Farmers from South Carolina to California, all the way to Canada, are buying his inventions. 1928. Creates an 87-part automatic tie for hay balers. Patent attorneys call it a complicated mess. So intricate it takes two years to approve. Ruth sells 5,000 of those too. Pennsylvania Department of Transportation? They buy 150 of his mechanical cinder spreaders in 1934, documented in Pennsylvania Heritage magazine. Then World War II hits. At 60 years old, the U.S. government taps him to design classified airplane devices and bomb sites. Some of his work later influences the Trident missile design in the 1950s. Over 50 patents. Self-taught. Black-owned manufacturing business in rural Pennsylvania when that was unheard of. Died 1971 in a car accident at 89. Built an empire from a blacksmith shop. Subscribe for the inventors who changed America without recognition. Share this. William Chester. Ruth deserves his name in history. Like if genius doesn't need a classroom. From farm tools to military weapons. All self-taught.